So guys, it's supercharger season here at the shop. Uh, in regards to the Sea-Doo products, we've been having a great summer, lots of sun, uh, lots of lake days going on, which means we're busy here keeping uh, the Sea-Doo products maintained and uh, serviced and ready to go. Now, superchargers on Sea-Doo's, they've been out for about 10 years. Uh, they basically boost the 1503 engine from 130 horsepower up to 185, 215, 255. That combined with the intercooler. Uh, they spin at a very high RPM, 45,000 RPM, which means things like seals, bearings, uh, washers, they can wear out. And when they do, if they are not properly maintained, these pieces can uh, break apart and uh, go through an engine and destroy an engine really quickly. So if you're running a supercharger on a CD, you do need to be aware of the maintenance intervals or the maintenance that does need to be done when it's time to rebuild them. Um, with this great kit that BRP offers. Uh, basically, it's a rebuild kit that gives you everything you need to rebuild your supercharger, all the seals, all the washers, uh, just a really thorough job of going right through it and making sure that it's uh, good to go. So each year we do a number of these uh, Sea-Doo supercharger rebuilds. Uh, we've got a fair share of them out there uh, after uh, 10 years on the market with them. Um, and so we've gotten quite uh, quite skilled at it. There is a number of special tools that we use uh, when we are rebuilding these. A person does need to be aware of that because the the RPM is at such a high uh, high rate, uh, 45,000 RPM. You do need the uh, the special plates and the uh, rolling torque wrench and the the equipment and the know-how uh, from the shop manual, all the specs to uh, put these together properly. It's just not something that you want to uh, use. Uh, whatever you have laying around to do it because it, like I said it may blow apart and, and destroy a ten thousand uh, dollar engine so here we've got a couple examples of superchargers that have blown up and uh, caused some issues the components have uh, basically disintegrated and gone through the intake and, uh, and taken out the engines uh, the oil pumps and stuff like that um, but the first one we've got here and, and one of the big issues that we see with them if they're not maintained is the friction washers themselves uh, go missing basically two little washers that go on either side of this little gear here and uh, after a while they can uh, wear out and break apart and uh, go through the engine now the one thing here that, that uh, BRP has actually done some improvements with these washers over the years um, if you got a gold set uh, kind of like the ones I'm showing here um, they're basically they're good for a hundred hours and uh, once they get replaced with uh, the new ones in the kit the uh, titanium coated ones uh, they're good up to 200 hours. So they are making uh, great improvements with these washers to kind of uh, lengthen the uh, interval of uh, how long they uh, how long they go. Um, you can see here on this uh, supercharger where they've actually blown apart and they're missing on both sides here. Um, and if this is one kind of to be aware of, if you got an older Sea-Doo, uh, an 07 or older, they might have had a white washer into them. And the white ones, uh, they have definitely in, uh, had issues with them. And uh, they could basically blow up at any time. So basically what I'm trying to say here is if you've just purchased a Sea-Doo or with a supercharger and you're not too sure if it's been rebuilt or you can't remember the last time it's been done or it's 07 or older, it's uh, probably a very good idea to get that supercharger removed, get it inspected, get it rebuilt uh, so you know what's going on. Now the other issue I've seen with uh, superchargers, and not very often, this is just a select few, but uh, once in a while you'll see a bearing blow up on them and then same thing again here you see uh, where the bearing where the cage basically the cage is disintegrated on this bearing um, the bearing has fallen apart and again has got sucked into the intake and uh, made its way through the engine uh, so I just wanted to show this one just an example we had on the bench here and again once this happened you can see here in the oil pump where it's uh, scored up both oil pumps um, to the point that they need to be replaced you can actually see some of the filings from the bearing uh, in this little cavity here and then again it's made its way through the engine and uh, through all the crankshaft bearings the uh, connecting rod bearings top end bearings all that type of stuff and uh, so it doesn't take long to destroy an engine uh, really quickly when this happens uh, not trying to scare you guys with them there like I said there is they are a great product I own an 09 uh, speedster boat myself and we have a lot of fun with it every summer I uh, keep the supercharger maintained and uh, it's just a great 255 horsepower, tons of horsepower, tons of speed. So if you own a product like this or you're thinking of getting one, 
by all means feel confident to bring it into the shop here. Uh, we can definitely keep you maintained, get the oil changed on and get it ready for the season. And again, of course, uh, keep your supercharger uh, right up to snuff on it. So again, you guys, have a great summer. We're having a lot of fun here. Lots more videos to come. To come. Thank you and stay tuned.